If you want to learn three ways of setting environment variables within PyCharm, then watch this video. Let's get started with the first technique. First, we can set environment variables within PyCharm by editing the activate.bat and editing deactivate.bat. So the idea is when you start your terminal, and I'm saying terminal very specifically, notice we have our virtual environment already started. Obviously this assumes you have a virtual environment. So in that virtual environment, you can go to activate.bat. And let me show you our settings file. We have this secret key, right? I'm going to copy, well actually I'm gonna move this os.environ.get. That's just looking for the key, secret key. And then I want to copy this secret key. And what we're going to try to do is grab this secret key from the virtual environment or from our environment in general. So let's go to activate.bat. Here's where you say set, and then you do two open and close quotes. And we want to say the variable and then equals and then whatever the value is. So secret key equals. Now notice one thing, the quotes are around the entire thing. It's not like secret key equals and then turn it into a string. That's not what it is. This is it. And it's very similar to the, what you see here about set virtual env. Okay, so that's done. Now let's close activate.bat. Let's open up deactivate.bat. So when our virtual environment is activated, it will set that secret key. When we deactivate it, we want to unset that secret key. So we say set, and we say secret underscore key, and we just say equals, and that's it. We don't have to put quotes around it. Very similar to what you see here. Okay, so now that that is set, we can do python manage.py run server. Now, notice what it says here. It says we can't find the secret key, basically. Raise improperly configured, the secret key setting must not be empty. So let's go ahead and do a test. We are going to venv slash scripts slash deactivate so we can deactivate our virtual environment. Now we want to say uh, Python. So that'll launch an interpreter here. Then we want to import os, os.environ, so e-n-v-i-r-o-n dot get. We're gonna try to get that secret key. It's not here. So let's now let's exit. Now we're gonna say venv slash scripts slash activate. Now I'm on a Windows machine your command there to activate your virtual environment will be different if you're on Mac. I'm not sure what the exact command is. So now let's do the run server thing again. See what happens. So notice that it didn't give us that error message this time. That's pretty cool. And then we have our actual site running. And the reason that worked is because once we deactivate the virtual environment and then activate it again, that's when those variables actually exist. So I'm going to control C and keep in mind, we are in the terminal of PyCharm. We are in the PyCharm terminal. So let's start Python with our virtual environment activated. And then let's do the same thing. Import, import OS for the operating system. OS.envron.get secret key. There we go, we have our secret key. It's actually in our environment. So that's one way you can set environment variables by editing activate.bat and, and editing deactivate.bat in your virtual environment. Now let's move on to a different technique. Before we do, I just wanna make sure that I don't have those activated. So let's remove this. And then let's go open up deactivate, remove that. Okay, so close that. And I just wanna verify that it's no longer going to work. So let's just actually close everything down. Let's relaunch PyCharm. In this next one, we're going to look at this. Whoops, I don't know why that did that. 
We're going to look at some of these answers here. How to set environment variables in PyCharm. You can set environment variables in PyCharm's run configuration menu. And he shows that here, and that's highlighted. Another answer tells you to install a plugin. We're going to go with this next answer just to walk you through what exactly it entails. So let's do that now. And let's just see if uh, we'll do Python. We say import os, os.envron.get secret key. And it's not there. It's not in the environment variables anymore. Um, so if so, if we say exit, and we run this, Python manage dot py run server, we should get an error because that's trying to still get it from the environment. You see. So check this out. Um, let's let's keep it like it is because we still want to get the secret key from the environment. Now let's go into file we go into settings. There's this plugins area. What we can do here, like it says within this post, is look for env file. And here it is. I actually have it installed. Let's uninstall it. And then we're going to restart PyCharm because there are several different plugins I want to show you. And it can be confusing which one to actually download. So I just want you to be 100% sure if you're actually going to follow this tutorial. And I know I will probably forget in the future as well. So let's do the same thing. Settings. We say env file. You notice it doesn't show up here. Let's search in the repositories. This one has a million downloads. You might think that's the one, but the guy in this post here is referencing this one. So let's click install. Restart PyCharm again. I should probably apply this first. Hit OK. And then restart. So now we have this installed. The idea is we are going to add secret key equals whatever that string is. So let's get that string again. This is it. So let's copy this string. And then it wants you to create this environment. So let's let's actually delete this just so I could show you exactly. What you do is in your project you say new file and we'll say environment.env. You hit OK. And then you want to do something like secret key equals and then you put your key in there. Uh, let's just try it with no quotes first. Okay, that's done. Now we still have this trying to get it from the environment variable. We have this file now. Now what do you do? Well, you go into the settings here. And there's there's several different ways you can get to this. Um, actually, I'm just going to do add configuration, this button here at the top. Then we say plus, and then we choose Django server. And then I'm going to just put e-commerce. Now, Notice in this debug configurations area, it says env file. This tab does not appear by default, except in, maybe in later versions of PyCharm it will. There was a comment somewhere in this post. So if you see this env file, you're good to go. If you don't, you need this plugin to install it. So enable an env file. And then what we do, um, see how this says run configuration? We just click this button here. Let's just say apply, hit OK. And now here's the problem with this approach. It says, and then I could just click the play button in PyCharm and everything worked like a charm. Yeah, OK. So you hit play here and it will run and then it'll say secret key doesn't work. OK. So let's go back into here and I'll show you why it doesn't work. You have to first add an env file. To do that, we will just simply click it from where we added that environment.env file. We hit OK. Now it's there. We click Apply. OK, everything is good. Let's hit Play again. And boom, it does work like that. Let's just make sure this is, everything is good. Log in. There we go. Let's do Contact. 
there we go so it is working not really surprising there but if you want to use that environment variable you know file called env and you want to have that tab here the problem with this is you have to click play or run each time you want to do it so you can't do it in the terminal watch i'll show you let's let's stop this so this is stopped it's not going anymore finished right now let's go into our terminal because i think a lot of python and django developers they tend to use the terminal a lot more so if we say python manage.py run server instead of clicking play you're still going to get this issue and this is what causes a huge amount of confusion especially for me but it's because you can no longer run server from your terminal you actually have to click play or debug in order to run it some people might think that's a good thing some people might think it's a bad thing if let me know what you think what do you think do you think that's a good thing or a bad thing leave your comment below let me know what you think of this video and lastly let's talk about the third method which is this method here you can set your environment variables simply by using this same kind of uh, configuration area. So let's go to this env file. We will click minus there. We're not even going to enable it. We say apply. Now let's go back to the configurations and hit OK. All right, so now let's hit run. And actually, I just want to delete this environment key altogether just to make sure that there's no possible way and it's still gonna say the secret key is not properly configured and that's that's pretty common sense why it's not because we just deleted everything that would reference it so there's this third section this environment variables what you can do is you can click this folder plus secret key paste no quotes around it hit OK now it adds it to that environment variables line now we click, click apply hit OK Let's try to run it again. And there we go. So that is three different ways on how you can set environment variables within PyCharm. And I don't take any credit for this. The, actually, the environment variable setting within the virtual environment is a lot better of a method, in my opinion, because you don't have to click play. You can just use the terminal and that makes it a lot more convenient. However, there are obviously pros and cons, and I'm sure uh, more advanced developers know those pros and cons a lot more deeply than I do. But I wanted to just uh, explain this. Let me know if you think this video is good. Please give it a thumbs up if you do. If it helped you out, definitely give it a thumbs up. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching.